here to show you my March glossy box. I did not order in April. I don't think. But anyway, that's beside the point. <laughs> I'm here with um, my glossy mag for March. And I opened it because I filmed this originally when I was sick and I sounded and looked gross. So I'm here re-recording it. So I do know what's in it. Mm, sorry. But, uh, excuse my hair. I'm not really messing with the bangs. I'm thinking about getting it cut though. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. Um, moving along. So in the top, on the top is a glossy mag featuring one of my favorite bloggers, um, Kavita. You can see it. She's a UK based vlogger. Um, her style is amazing. Like, you should totally check her out. Love it. But anyway, yeah, that's the glossy bag. I actually haven't read this, considering how long I've had the box. Terrible. Anyway, moving along, here's a card. This one's, the box is called Spring Flame. So, yeah, and this is all the stuff that's in it, and I'll be reading you everything. Yeah, I'm already for my opinion about some of it. I haven't tried it all, but you know okay the number one thing is an eyeliner by um elite models and it's just a matte um brown eyeliner the shade is i think 16 or just matte brown but it says 16 on bottom and a full size which is this 2.5 mil is 15 dollars um, I will say that just the swatches and trying it out a little that it does not budge at all. I don't know if it's waterproof, but it doesn't say. But it is, but it is extremely matte and budge proof. Like I swatched when I swatched it on my hand, I was like, it took me a lot to try to get it off. So I guess it's worth fifteen dollars. It doesn't crack. It doesn't crease bleed or any of that not on me when I did try it out so if you want to pay $15 go for that it's really mad really amazing but they would sent me a black I probably would have loved you more because I don't use thing is the cheeks and lips model co lip cheek and lip tint my shade is in rosy red it looks like a little tube of Um, like a little, I don't know, like a concealer or anything you get or whatever. But the size is this is a full size, which is 10 milliliters, and it's $24 for this. This, as far as the lip tint part, for me, because I have pigmented lips, didn't do much for me. Uh, and I don't wear blush, so I wouldn't know if it's how it looks on the cheeks. But as I stained my hand, like with three dabs of it, my finger was pretty, like it's a berry color. It's, it's a really pretty color. I'm not going to swatch because it took forever to get it off my hand. But it's really, really dark. That's what it looks like. With <clears throat> it feels and looks like um, black cherry jello. There we go. That's a better, you know, description. It's a gross amount. You can't really see it, but it's very faint with one swatch. But on my finger, it's really like a rosy, burgundy. It's pretty. It has a nice scent, not too overpowering or anything. So, $24. I mean, I don't know if I'd pay $24 for really, it, but. Uh, the next thing in my box is from Pixie and it's the Magic Tink Tint Lip Tint thing. It looks like all those little lip crayons that are out recently. And this is the Disney collection for a Pixie, I believe. And it's just like a sheer, very sheer pink. And this is the full size and it's $16 for this. And it's just like a very pale pink it smells minty 
it in my opinion it's it's not even a tint it's just like a clear gloss like i can see a tiny pink corally kind of peachy almost but you know it's really nothing and not worth 16 dollars so there's that you can get pixie at like target right now i think next thing is prestige because i think this is italian prestige you know i work at an italian emergency school or... mm. anyway <laughs> it's a rose cella and this is just a soap and this is 4.4 ounces which is the full size and the full size of this one sixteen ninety nine. I have not tried this obviously because it's still in the packaging. It doesn't have a smell to it or anything to me, even though it's in plastic, but this is not something I like because I don't like floral. And inside it has plumeria, hibiscus, shea, and a pure blend of beneficial oils. So you can like see it in there and stuff like that. Does not appeal to me because you know I don't like any of this kind of stuff. I don't like floral, I don't look now. I might give it to my sister because she likes that kind of stuff. And the last thing in the box is Sebastian Professional Shaper Fierce. Um hairspray. I don't use it, so I couldn't tell you about it. I don't know if I'll ever try it because, like I said, I don't use it. I don't even need it. But maybe one day when I like curl my hair, I might spritz it on and see how that goes. The full size, which is not this, <laughs> runs for $17. So, yeah. I don't know if this one has hair. Yeah, it just smells hairspray. Not like a nice scent to most hair product. And that. Actually, you know, it has a kind of a floral effect. Yeah. And that's my box. It's empty. That is it. I would say overall, um, price-wise, you got well over the amount you would pay for the box this month, so that's cool. And out of all the products in the box that I'd use, none of them, most likely. So, I don't know, I might get around to it. But any of these things stand out to me now so it is what it is but i like trying out all the different things that they do provide in the box which is the reason why i sign up for it to see what's new and out there so yeah that's it for my box thank you guys for watching bye